How's it going y'all? Tyrannosaurus Moth here and tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a quick look at the Entertainment Earth exclusive Dino Riders Rulon Warriors Battle Pack. This seemed to come out of nowhere last year. Uh, just kind of like went up and oh hey a new Dino Riders product um, which we haven't seen in 30 years. So <laughs> this is definitely exciting. It was definitely a part of my childhood. I absolutely loved this line back in the day. And uh, so it looks like this might be Mattel testing the waters, seeing if there's still interest in the brand, and I certainly hope that's the case. So let's take a look at this and see if it is worth your money. All right, let's do this. So as you can see, a lot comes in this little package. Um, we get an assortment of dinosaurs, we get an assortment of riders, and we get some little kind of army men style um, soldiers of both factions. Um, I actually don't remember the names of individual characters, again, because it's been 30 years and the franchise has been more or less dead that whole time, from what I understand. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And so, according to the box, this package includes, in terms of our non-dinosaurs, Krulos, Bitor, Cor Cobras, Lod, Locus, Termite, Sixgill, Boldar, Quark, Finn, and Citro. Um, and then we'll go over the dinosaurs because I know what those are. <laughs> so we'll take a quicker look, just a, or a closer look rather, at our little army men style ones here. So you got one guy with a machine gun. You get one of the bad guys with some binoculars and a uh, blaster. You get a bad guy with a bazooka. And we got a blaster rifle. That one. Good guy with a mortar. And then someone calling in. And beyond that, you got your riders. So, and they are color coded, so your good guys are in green. Um, they look pretty much, they, they all look pretty similar. I'm trying to get in focus here. Yeah, so some have like headgear, some don't. Um, you got your bad guys here. There we go. And check them out. Uh, and they are positioned like this. Obviously, they're not going to stand. Those are made to ride the dinosaurs. We're going to look at that after I go through the dinosaurs. Uh, for dinosaurs, we have Sorolophus. That. As you can see, is space for the little riders to go. Then we have Deinonychus. And Triceratops. And these sculpts are fantastic. I really love the updates they did to these designs. Pterodactyl, which has a rider already in it. And this rider does not come off. You can see it's uh, kind of glued right there. So they're just in there for, they're for the ride, for the duration. Um, then we get our uh, oh, it just said, and more. So I believe this is probably Diplodocus. I think in the original, they just called it a Brontosaurus. Again, it's it's been a while and I didn't do research before this video, which I probably should have. Uh, so I apologize for that, y'all. <laughs> Make me look bad. Myself. Make me look bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, you big spaces for riders. Again, these are the uh, configurations that they were it, that way back in the day. And finally, the most important one, the T-Rex in purple, which obviously makes me very happy. Um, so there we go. Just absolutely fantastic updates. Looks splendid. Uh, and just to show you how the riders go in, so we got our seat right here. And I can put a little guy there. And there you go. And there's also a seat in the back here for another one. So really cool set. Really cool, just a bunch of dinosaurs and riders. And this is just such a, a nostalgia jolt and I love it. Um, I do really hope this, do this does well because I would absolutely love to see all of these sculpts articulated and in some bigger scale kind of akin to the Jurassic World line that's out right now and I know a lot of us that are dinosaur fans want that. Um, 
You know what? I just realized our sore pod back here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to re- renew my label there and say that's probably an aptosaurus. Um, Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, uh, so I really want to see this go further. Um, going back to my question, is this worth your money? I think so. This is super cool just to have. Uh, if you really want painted details, you can absolutely do that. If you're into painting minifigures, this is perfect. Because um, a lot of details to bring out with paint. I'd love to see someone do them. I like the purple and green color scheme, so I'm probably going to leave these unpainted. But I'm looking forward to kind of seeing what people do with these in the future. So overall, in closing, um, if you are into dinosaurs or you, like me, had dino riders back in the day, um, definitely pick this up. Um, the price is right. I mean, I think this was 20 bucks, and you get a lot with it. There's a lot of like just places you can put this at your your work desk or what have you. And uh, it's a nice little addition. So, you know, pick it up if you if it's still up. I'm gonna link to it in the comments. And I hope uh, this review this review has been somewhat informative. Uh, like I said, just be quick because there's no articulation or anything else to go over. Um, and uh, you know, if you like them, pick them up. And if you liked this video or you want to see more of what I have coming up, I generally go over stuff like uh, so far Power Rangers and did a couple of NECA things, um, or I did one NECA thing, and uh, I'll be doing some vlogs and stuff like that in the future. So thank you for watching, Um, be good to yourself, be good to everyone around you, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace.